Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle. I also run a blog called Coco Styles NYC where I talk about fashion and how to style certain items for your body type. So in today's video I decided to do a video on dressing for a job interview. Now let's see. There are some jobs where the dress code itself is very very casual however you do not want to go on an interview wearing what you would wear in the office if the dress code is casual so i'm going to start off by saying this is for my ladies number one let's talk about skirts and dresses you want your skirt and your dresses to be knee length or below nothing above that and the reason why is you do not want to draw attention to yourself as trying to be, hmm, I don't even want to use the word scandalous. Uh, you just want to present yourself in a proper way. People are always looking at you. They're always judging you. We all hate to hear it, but I say this over and over and over again. People love to judge you, so don't give them a reason to. So that's number one, keeping your skirts and your dresses below your knees or at your knees. Number two would be your shoes. So, okay, you guys are gonna kill me, but when it comes to shoes in an office, in a corporate setting, I would say three to four inches or some flats. And the reason why is because anything higher than that, it can come off as, I guess to them, a streetwear, street style, I guess, or maybe even street walker. <laughs> <laughs> so just to avoid any of that in the corporate setting and to be comfortable, I would say three to four inches. Some people don't like three inches because it's a bit too short for them. So four inches, I would say is a good number to stick with. So that is number two, your heels and your shoes. Number three would be your pants. So pants and trousers and stuff like that, ladies, do not wear leggings to an office. It's just not appropriate for your office gear. Try out some trousers. You have trousers that are three quarter or ankle length. Those are cool for the spring and the summertime. Even sometimes in the winter, you can wear some pumps with that. And you could also wear some boots with that also. Kind of like tucking in your boots and just having the pants at your ankle and ladies, Stay away from super tight pants. I know a lot of you ladies are very shapely, so you can't avoid that. However, if you are in an office, I'm not saying to completely cover up because you cannot hide what God gave you. I would say make sure your blazer covers it and you're not drawing any attention to yourself. It's not your fault, but I've seen so many things where people try to point out the woman because her pants are tight and it's not that they're tight, it's just that she's shapely. You can't avoid your shape, you can't chop it off, right? So but if, if you can avoid anyone saying anything, I would say to just wear a blazer that comes on a little bit longer and make sure your shirt is nice and collared and you're good to go. So that is number three, your trousers. Number four I would say is Jewelry, okay, I have on a pair of studs right now. I don't have on a necklace because of the way my shirt is cut, well, my dress, and I have on a simple ring. Normally I would have on a watch, but I was working and my watch kept hitting. So when it comes to jewelry, keep it at a minimum. If you are in a casual setting, hmm, you can probably get away with different earrings. But if you're going on an interview, I would say stick with some gold ball studs or some diamond studs. They could be fake, they could be real, whatever floats your boat. Um, keep a simple ring and a nice watch and that's it. Don't go over the top on your interview because you're there to pretty much sell yourself to get this job. Yes, you wanna look appropriate, but you also are selling yourself to get a job. So. That is number four, your jewelry. Number five would be, oh my goodness, my favorite, makeup. Listen, with today's culture, with contouring and highlighting and all that good stuff, 
you have to still be cautious of what you're putting on your face when you're going into an office or on an interview. So no red lipstick guys, do not wear red lipstick on an interview, <laughs> okay? I would say opt for natural makeup, um, natural lashes, do not wear those lamb chop lashes ladies. Uh, natural lashes, I'm not saying to not wear them, to not wear lashes at all, but just make sure you're not wearing anything that is super long and noticeable. You don't want them to see that first. Um, I would say also wear natural makeup. Um, if you contour your nose and all that good stuff, just make sure everything is blended. You don't want to walk in there looking like a mannequin. <laughs> um, and natural lipstick, you know, maybe a brown, a nude color, stuff like that. That's number five, so keep your makeup natural when you're going on an interview. And I'm gonna add number six in, which will be your hair. Um, very controversial, but natural hair, this is for my black women. I love natural hair. I don't care how you wear it, if you wear it in a twist style, if you wear it in an afro, just make sure that it is done. I don't care. I like twist outs um, and afros are pretty cool for the ones who actually can actually wear an afro uh, because some folks hair don't, don't actually do that. But if you do wear that, just make sure your hair is neat. If you have straight hair for any woman, woman of any other culture, make sure your hair is combed. Um, if you like curls, you can wear curls. If you have a bob, wear a bob. Just make sure your hair is actually done and just make sure you look like you put effort into yourself because you had an interview guys. So those are my quick little tips for anyone who's going on an interview. And I'll try to pop in a lot of pictures as, I was, as I'm speaking for you guys because I do feel like it's important for our younger generation to see how to dress going on an interview because the internet is so convoluted with so much fashion that I think sometimes they don't know how to put on, put on a actual corporate outfit for an interview. So. The good thing is that once you get the job, you could actually go through the handbook and determine if there is a casual dress code, a business professional dress code, or even a smart casual dress code. So those are all three different things. And guys, I am gonna do a video on all three of those so you guys can know what they are. But again, make sure you are looking into the handbook to see what the dress code is and that should help you on your interview. Well, actually not on your interview, help you once you once you get the job, guys. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and my blog, like I said, Coco Styles NYC. And guys, also, if you had not known this about me, I do have an online boutique, Coco Styles Lux and I'm gonna get that in below for you guys. And also, I also do styling services for corporate professional women who are looking to take their careers to the next level. Sometimes your style is actually holding you back. And I don't wanna just say style, but how you're presenting yourself and showing up at work. So if you guys want more information on that, comment below. It's a really exciting thing for me. I've been doing it for some time, um, but I'm really starting to really put it out there because I'm targeting corporate professional women. So I catch you guys in the next one. Bye.